Hello, welcome on Travels and Code channel. Today I want to talk about one of the big pains we have when we're developing websites. It's testing in Internet Explorer when you have Mac OS. In case you have Windows, it's easy, but what we can do for Mac OS? We need Internet Explorer or Edge to test our website because of we are high quality developers and we deliver high quality product. How we can solve the issue? In this video, I will show you two possible options how we can solve this problem. The first one is installing virtual machine on your Mac OS. So, Microsoft knows that they created not very good browser, so they provide to us special tool such as Windows 10 with legacy Microsoft Edge and, Micro and Internet Explorer. So, we can install this. We can go to this page, it's developersmicrosoft.com, you can find a link in description. On this page we see that we can install different virtual machines and on these machines we will have Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge for testing and these virtual machines expire in 90 days, so it's a bit more than usual. So we will start with VirtualBox. Also, here we can see that there are other tools, Microsoft Edge Dev Tools and WebDriver, but I never tried such tools, so if you have some experience of using these tools, leave a comment, it would be interesting to find out does it work or not. So let's start from VirtualBox, let's click it and install. While we are waiting for installing, I would recommend you to subscribe my channel, like it and uh, soon there will be more and more interesting videos for web development. Ok, and while we are waiting for downloading VirtualBox, let me show you another number 2 way how we can test our application in Internet Explorer. And it's using special site, it's browser stack. Let's browser stack. This site allows you to test your application in different browsers, different operation systems and uh, for mobile application as well. So what we need, let's get started for free. We need create account, just some email. So to start using this application, we need to sign up with some name. Let's try. We need business email, so Gmail won't help you, and uh, some password. Or in case if you have no email, we can try special service, it calls temporary email. Let's generate email, copy, and uh, let's start sign up with this email. So, we already successfully signed up, let's try to test our application and we need to test website, let's choose the website, then we want its manual testing and let's wait for browser and real device. And you can see that they have more than 2000 devices. So what do we see? Ok, we want to test. So you see that you can test on any device, here is a huge number of devices, but we need Windows 10 for example and we need Internet Explorer, let's try it. And now as we see it launches a real computer with a real browser, it's not emulation and in this browser you can run your application. Let's try for example for YouTube. And now, as you can see, we have our YouTube in Internet Explorer browser. So, if you want, don't forget to click subscribe. And now you can easily test your application in Internet Explorer or any other browser. We can switch browser. 
so we can see we can choose for example Windows 7 but what's the disadvantage of this approach the first one for trial version is just 30 minutes of using this approach but you can generate any temporary email and uh, continue working with it or you need buy a plan it means you need to pay for using this application and it's not cheap you can choose device for example iphone 6s and you can choose browser on this iphone for example you can launch with uh, chrome or even firefox so it won't be just default browser you can choose what browser you will use on this device so downloading is finished let's install microsoft so we opened file we downloaded and it's existing virtual hard disk file so to run it we need install virtualbox itself and uh, run this operating system so let's let's download virtualbox So we downloaded it and let's install VirtualBox on our computer. So we need to continue. Yes. So we need to allow this software in security and privacy. Let's click allow and uh, let's try to install it again. So installation was successful, we can move to trash it, we don't need it anymore. So let's start with the virtual box. Okay, click new. So what do we remember that we have is Windows 10. Okay. let's call it we will save it here and uh, what do we need it microsoft windows it will be windows 10 let's continue let's leave it as default continue and use existing virtual hard drive let's choose from downloads and we will choose this one let's open it let's choose so we choose this and let's click create so we have here let's start it again we need allow it So we allowed using VirtualBox and now we can run, so we see that switch, let's close it, close it, so we see that Windows is starting. So we have e user and password. So in this documentation, we see that virtual machine password is this one. Let's copy, paste. Doesn't work. Okay, password.
Okay, meanwhile we will scale the mod. So we need to change view. Let's do it. And uh, what do we see? We have our Windows and we have Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. Let's click, let's type Internet Explorer. So, and we have our favorite Internet Explorer. The same test. This browser it drives me crazy. Let's so we will wait a little bit because of its Internet Explorer, and uh, we will see that our application should work. Should work, and it works almost so i show you two ways how we can test our applications in internet explorer or edge the first one is installing virtualbox with a virtual machine already prepared by microsoft and another one using browser stack so you can choose what the way is most suitable for you and choose what you will like more